it's been 10 years and eight New York premieres since it all began. And last night, the stars of Harry Potter walked their final North American red carpet together for The Deathly Hallows Part 2. I'm incredibly sad, um, but obviously it's bittersweet. The grand finale of the movie franchise sees the good and bad from the wizarding world erupt into an all-out battle to the end. What was that moment like when you yelled cut for the last time? Very tense. It was an emotional experience. Dan made a beautiful speech. It was my day-to-day -day life to see all of them, and so to, to suddenly be in a world where I'm not seeing them will be, will be strange. The cast reflected back on the good times. What's your favourite favorite Harry Potter memory? Um, playing bass guitar with Gary Oldman. There are so many, I just can't even begin, I don't know where to start, because everything about making these films was good. And how far they've come on the red carpet. How has your style changed over the years from your first red carpet to now? Um, I mean, I was a nine-year-old girl. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really know anything about how to do this thing. And now Emma Watson is a style icon. I made some mistakes and, and learned from them, and, and luckily I'm just still having fun with it. Rupert Grint, who's been a fan of loose-fitting casual looks on the red carpet, has switched up his style. I love that he's tailoring it down because I feel like men should wear a tailored suit. But Daniel Radcliffe has been partial to finely tailored suits from the very beginning. Daniel also has no problem taking a risk with a shirt, a tie, doing something funky. Celebrities from Whoopi Goldberg to SJP to Seth Green came out to show their love for Harry Potter, as did thousands of screaming fans. Harry Potter has obviously left a lasting legacy in these legions of fans here at Lincoln Center on Living Proof. How long have you been waiting here? Since Saturday. I come all the way from Mexico to be here. We got our first Harry Potter tattoos on Friday. Just to see the actors and Hopefully see if we can get an autograph from them. And some of these fans' wishes came true. This may be the end of an era, but we've heard rumors that J.K. Rowling may have a prequel in the works. I talk to people all the time who said it has given them inspiration or comfort or security and, or love or whatever. So let's hope those rumors are true. Sharon Carpenter, Pix11 News.